Tark in Northwest Cork to meet a man who knew from a very early age that he wanted to work with wood, and so he did for many years, making fitted furniture, kitchens, and so on. But then he decided he wanted to don his rather more artistic hat and turned to wood turning. Geraldine Harney went along to see him at work. To look at Jeremiah Dennehy with his chainsaw in hand, it's hard to believe that he is a master craftsman who makes many things of beauty like lamps and bowls, mainly from wood found in the nearby bogs around his native Canturk. This is a section of with uh, bog wood and bog oak. The bog oak would be blacker stuff now, the, the, the bog wood would be actually a bit lighter, but it would be all thousands of years old, you know. So we have to just pick out a special piece that you think that will make a nice size lamp. So you have to take the dimensions of it, really, and um, you have to see what size lamp you want. And um, you have to shape it first with a, with a chainsaw and pick out your piece that you think would be suitable. No. And this is how the process starts all the time. Eventually, Jeremiah is left with a workable piece from which to craft his lamp. And already you can see what is special about the wood. But to Jeremiah, each and every piece of wood he gathers is special. Bog oak has a beautiful way of shaping itself. You can sit back and look at a piece of bog oak that's thousands of years old, and you can you can demise your own shapes from them, you know. I suppose to me it's it's a it's a, a passion. You know, I love working with heritage and I love working with with old timber because you know, it's a privilege really to be working with timber that's thousands of years old. There's no place, no other country in the world really where you can work with timber that's thousands of years old. And the reason for that is because I suppose of the natural bog, the way it's able to preserve our timber for thousands of years. And it's a real privilege to be able to do that. It is on the wood turning lathe that the piece is shaped. And even at this early stage, Jeremiah knows what it'll turn out like. I have a fair idea how that's going to run. I want to keep this if I can, because it's deep enough to keep it, you know. This I might have to get rid of, because I want to taper the lamp up to the, to the top of where the bulb will actually be. I might have a, a circular sphere here in the middle, and I might hone it down into this, and I'll try and keep this, because there's, there's going to be nice kind of defects here, and they're going to come out very well, and they're going to be polished up, and, and, and it's going to really kind of show up like when that's going to be done, you know. Of course, this great knowledge of wood wasn't picked up off the ground. It's been evolving in Jeremiah since he was a young boy. Well, I suppose, from a child, I suppose I was always watching my father a lot, and I seemed to, you know, he was reading up old and antiques, and he used to be French polishing antiques, and we often spent several evenings together, beautiful evenings together, with great memories of French polishing old antiques, and, and great times, you know. And I served my time as a captain to the Nominity Cabinet Making, and, um, Followed on the tradition, I suppose I started my own furniture business. We, we do fitted furniture as well. And thankfully, Jeremiah is busy making fitted furniture. But every spare minute is given over to creating the bespoke pieces. While still a small business, his customer base is growing all the time. Well, who's buying my stuff? Well, we'll say a lot of the, the local craft shops, we'll say in Cork and, and Kerry, of course. And um, you know the West of Ireland would are interested in this. You now Kilkenny shop are very interested in it, and they have made more or less a commitment to me to take uh, some of my pieces off me, which is very good. You know they're one of the biggest in Ireland, really. And uh, amazingly enough, we're not just selling lamps to New York, believe it or not. You know uh, we've got a contact over there, and they're taking lamps as well. And given that every piece is unique, it's no wonder they are selling so well. Take this bowl, for instance. This is spotted beach, and the beautiful thing about it is, I suppose it's, it's kind of like marbleized, you know? It marbleizes the stuff. That's nature again. Nature again at its, at its best. Because, you see, going back to nature, being the most beautiful artist of all, that's nature at, at, at its proudest now and at its best. Like, And all I do is unfold the beauty of it and try and make a connection with the two and try and marry the two together to actually show how beautiful nature actually is. Last week, Jeremiah took part in the annual Creative Expo Showcase in Dublin. 
and the lamp that we saw being crafted from the bog wood was taking pride of place. Brogine Crafts, which takes its name from the nearby river, is a traditional family business that Jeremiah and his wife Mary take great pride in. And with young Dennis already taking a keen interest in his dad's work, it looks like being a family business for many years to come. Beautiful and timeless pieces. And that ends our program.